What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see back behind me. Been out here all day long doing some testing, and believe it or not, it ain't summertime. I'm out here in short sleeve shirts with my straw hat. It's actually still wintertime. Last week was just below zero wind chills, and now we're out here at 50 degrees, so it's a crazy time of year for sure. But I'm glad to see it, because it sure was nice having this good weather out here to do some testing with, and I'm gonna try to squeeze one more pretty interesting one in before this sun goes down on us. So we got the jelly contraption set up, ready for work with the chrono and two blocks of gel. Now I've done a couple of tests in this gel already in this far block. I've got them flipped around. Now a little bit of it snuck into this block, but I think we'll have plenty of room in here because this test right here is probably going to be pretty messy anyway. So those little couple little stragglers ain't going to make much difference. Now, even though it feels like summertime out here today, I'm still going to stick with my heavy clothing barrier that's got the layer of denim, layer of fleece, and two layers of the cotton t-shirt material. And now what we're testing on this one, as y'all can already see, is a couple different 410 options. Now this Hornady critical defense, triple defense stuff, I tested it last week or so in a uh, couple of longer barrels. This is the one that's got your 41 caliber FTX style slug and it's followed with the 235 caliber round ball. So I've got a one cut open there so you can see there's your slug in the front and it's got the two round balls behind it. Now the total weight on this is 245 grains. Uh, your slug is a 115 and each one of the round balls are 65. So that gives you 245 grains total for that. And then since we're doing just a one barrel length on this one, I figured I'd throw another one in here. So we got the Remington Ultimate Defense Buckshot here. Now this is the two and a half inch version with the four pellets. So as you can see, I got that cut open. You got four pellets of the buck. Now from my measurements, what I got on this uh, was a total of 263 grains. So a little bit heavier actually than that triple defense. The average per pellet came out to about 65 and three quarter grains each on them. And now for the tool this time, we are definitely changing it up as you can see we're using the little bond arms grizzly bear here this thing's got a three inch barrel on it it's chambered for two and a half inch shells which both of these are two and a half inch so you can do the math there for really all intents and purposes you got about a half of an inch barrel out of there that you can build any kind of pressure with but it should be pretty interesting to see what this little get off me tool can do with these two rounds so let me get this stuff set up and let's check them out all right, let's see if we can manage to get some speeds on these things. I'm not sure what kind of round average I'm gonna make on them. I've got us moved up here to about seven feet because this is definitely an up close and personal kind of thing. Um, usually I run these tests at 10 feet, but I moved this up a little bit. Hopefully this will help the chrono read this, but there's probably gonna be so much unburnt powder and just so many different types of projectiles coming out. I don't know how it's gonna work. I got one round first, so we'll test it with this one round and see how it does, y'all. This is the uh, critical defense first, the triple defense. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. All right, that's 579. That's probably actually valid. That sounds about right. So let me try another one since we did get that to read. I'm really surprised. They're probably maybe I'm close enough where they're all staying together. So we'll try it. And I just put that in the wrong, uh, the wrong, uh, I've got this set to, to fire the bottom. So as you can see, now let's try another one, y'all. Five eighty-two. So I would say that's definitely valid. Let's try one more, and we can get us a three-round average on them. Hopefully, those uh, those ultimate defense buckshot they'll do just as good. If not, we might have an issue. I like using this bottom one just because I know where my point of aim is on that. that in case y'all wondering, why don't I just use the top? That's why. All right, let's try to get this third one, y'all. This thing I could barely get a hold on it. All right, 601. So I would say that was all valid. Let's check that average. All right, so our three round average on those triple defense is 587 feet per second. So that definitely ain't moving too fast. I don't know how well that's going to equate into jail, but let's get this reset and let's try them ultimate defense. All right, let's see if we can get this triple alt buck to read. I'm still not feeling real great about this, but we'll see how it goes. I tell you, I got to really... This thing is just is so hard for me to get a hold of with my the size of my hands. Let's see what we get, y'all. 
and we had i believe when that happens i'm pretty sure that's the wad that slung off y'all can see it took out one of my dowels so i think we got a good reading on that so let me replace that dowel and we'll try a couple more all right i got us fixed back up down there now y'all see why i use those wooden dowels like i was telling you in that last video um it's definitely like that would have bent the heck out of the chrono down in there in the plastic man messed it all up pro possibly broke it for good but um just had to put a new dowel in there but anyway I'm thinking that's just a wad, but that's an awful big spread even for the wad. So let's uh, let's try to get a couple more, y'all. I'm gonna try to get a little bit higher. All right, 588, so let's get one more. These seem to be really close, uh, really close to what those triple defense were. I can't remember now. Let's get one more. Yeah, let's, get this done. let's get this nothing out of there. All right, here we go. And again, I, I'm pretty sure that was the wad again. That time it got one of the back ones, but we got 578. So let's go check that average. All right, so our three round average on that triple alt buck is 581 feet per second. And if y'all remember on the triple defense, it was 587. So you talking about six feet per second faster from that triple defense. So they are basically identical. It may be just a case of that's all the burn that this a little old bit of a barrel can give that powder. So it's just all you're gonna get out of it. But anyway, let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's white to their eyes jelly time i'm gonna put uh, i'm not really not sure how many rounds i'm gonna put down there into the jail uh it'd be nice to get by with one of each so it don't get too tracked up so we can see what's going on but i honestly got a feeling this is gonna be a mess down here and there really ain't nothing i can do about it these things are gonna go whichever they way they want to go but let's start out with one first we're gonna start out with this triple defense first and see what happens here so I don't, it's, it's hard to even try to aim to the side. Let's just see what happens, y'all. We'll go from there. All right, I actually think that might not have been too bad. Let me see what all we kept in the jail. Well, that went absolutely perfect down there. We called all the projectiles. Everything stayed in the jail. I couldn't ask for no better than that. So let's see what we can do with these uh, ultimate defense. Now, it's going to be a, a late Christmas miracle if I catch all four of these triple alts on the first round. So let's see what happens, y'all. I don't know. I don't even know where to, where to try to get these things to go because I'm not sure what the spread's going to be. But let's see what happens. See, I think that actually went right there around that same area with that triple defense. Let me take a look and see what I can work with. All right, y'all, I'm gonna press my luck here and take another shot with that triple alt buck. It basically just went right on to that triple defense stuff. So it's gonna be hard to tell what went on where. Um, I think we'll still get the general idea because basically it looks like all this stuff is pretty much doing the same thing. It's getting the same penetration and all. So um, I'm gonna try to just move this over to the left. I just wanna make sure I catch some of these triple alt bucks so we can take a look at them. But let's see what happens. It's weird that that thing, it's actually, this thing is hitting low and right. Let's see what, what I can do here. All right, that one definitely, I moved it over for sure. I don't know what all the splattering was. Maybe someone went down to the bottom, but let's go check that out and see what we got. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. It definitely got kind of messy because there were just so many projectiles at the same time through each shell. A lot of them have run into each other. Well, not a lot of them, but there's one that's run into each other. But I pretty much, I went back and looked at the footage so I kind of can tell what's what. So I'll let y'all have a, several different looks and we can figure out what's going on here. The, the biggest takeaway from this and, and what I can tell just from looking at all of it is it all pretty much performed the same as far as the pellets, the round ball 
balls in it. They look like they got very similar penetration. I uh, can't really tell as far as expansion, but we'll pull that here in just a second to look at it. But let me show you what we got here. So we got three tracks from that uh, critical defense. The one in the back and the top back there, that's one of the pellets for sure. And then if you see that bubble right there, I'm almost positive that's the wad. And then that track right here, that's the, the uh, slug back there as far as I can tell. Not that little pellet right there, but that's the slug. And then right above that, that's the pellet. So you got that pellet, that slug, and one of those pellets back there, that's your triple defense. That's the three projectiles that was in your triple defense. And then the other few tracks, of course, are from the uh, triple alt buck, the ultimate defense. So this one right here, that's one out of the second shot I took. That's one of the triple alt buck for sure. Uh, that's actually the only one out of that second shot that I think that we caught in the jail. The rest of them went some other places and I'll show you where those went, but it's just got a crazy spread, even at that seven feet. I mean, this thing, this little bond arms, this is a more of like a, a three foot or touching type of thing. Cause like I say, even at seven feet, I'll show y'all where some of the other ones hit at and you'll see just how big of a spread it is. But a couple more that we caught in the jail from the first ultimate defense is one of them up at the top. It actually ran into one of the uh, round balls from that triple defense. So one of those are from the ultimate defense and it's, I believe it's the one in the front from what I can tell from the footage. And then if you look at the very bottom down there under what I think is the wad, there's another track and that goes down at the bottom and I think we caught that pellet there also. But let's get an idea of the penetration here and then I'll give y'all some different views. So uh, as far as this critical defense, triple defense stuff, the slug down there on the bottom is at nine inches. Uh, one of the pellets stopped at uh, about five and three quarters. The other one stopped at about nine and a half. Uh, as far as your triple alt buck, this one here went to about 10 and a half. The one down that we caught at the bottom i can actually see it down there rested at 11 um and then another one like i say to hit this other one that's about five and a half five and three quarters of four momentum something like that so not a lot of penetration out of any of it even being right there at seven feet but let me see if i can give you all a little bit clearer picture of what happened so like i said this one right here in the front that little skinny line that leads to that pellet that's one of the triple alt bucks from the second one i took that was the only one out of that second one that we actually caught in the jail the other one I'll show you where they went, but right here, that's the entrance to that pellet that we caught. I was actually aiming right about here or so, somewhere around in there, because like I say, they seem to be going low and right for me. Uh, the low part's probably me to right, who knows? But anyway, that's where one pellet went. The other one, now these two little holes are from some bolts that I've uh, scavenged this little board off of, so that's not those. But one hit there, the other one actually skimmed the table. You can see where it skimmed the table right here. And this is just how I had everything set up. So. The board there, you can see another one right down there actually went into the table right there. I don't know if how well y'all can see that. I think you can see it. The pellet's actually still in there. It didn't go through the metal part, but went into the plastic part. Another one actually went into this board that I have holding this little piece of black paper up. You can see it went right there. So uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, and that's all four of them. So that was one in the jail, one skimmed the table, one went into the table, and one hit the board. And like I say, I was aiming here. So that just shows you what kind of spread you've got, even at seven feet out of that triple alt buck and then over here on the back side again you can get some good looks at this triple defense stuff so that's definitely the wad now that i'm looking for it from this side as you can see how it curves down there's your slug right there it doesn't look like we got any expansion on that slug right above it is one of the round balls that's also from the triple defense and then like i say the last brown ball out of the triple defense is that one behind that other one that one in front that's one of the triple alt bucks and it might be actually two of them in there but i'll have to pull all this stuff and we'll see what we got going on all right y'all let's check out these projectiles here so i managed to recover most of it all except for three of the triple alt bucks i got five of them but we uh went to two shells that would have been eight of them so i'm missing three who in the heck knows where they went but i got all of the stuff from this hornady triple defense here as you can see there's the wad here is your uh, slug there you can see in the back it has some deformation but that's probably just from the other round ball being packed in it 
and trying to come out the side there. The one of the round balls, I'm assuming that was the one that was right there with it. You can just see how it's weird shape that goes up in the back in that cavity there. And then this was the other one. And now the only reason it's split is because it got hit by one of those triple alt bucks. So I really can't count that as far as any kind of expansion or whatever. And then of course these over here is the triple alt buck. This was one of them. Uh, one of these rounds is the ones that hit that and split it open. And then the other one was the one resting down there at the bottom. So you got a couple there. And then the out of the other shell, I managed to get three of them, believe it or not. One of them was the one we caught in the gel in the front. One of them was the one that was in the edge of the table. That one was in the edge of the table. And this is the one where I showed y'all went down through that piece of wood and down through the bottom of the table. And I found it just laying down on the ground right up under the table. But surprisingly, even the round pellets have a lot of deformation to them. Now this slug, it didn't do what it was supposed to, obviously. Y'all know out of that other video, it opened up really, really nice. Uh, this one, it just obviously didn't have enough speed to get that thing opened up like it was supposed to. Now, as far as the weights on them, I don't reckon it means a whole lot since we didn't capture all of the stuff, but we'll get some weights anyway. We'll try this uh, triple defense here. So uh, started out, should have been 245. So let's see what we get when we add all the goodies back. So we've got 245.2 point two on that so it definitely kept all the material from those and then just out of curiosity we'll measure some of this triple alt buck so one pellet there we got 64.6 when we add the next one back to it we got 129.4 so that's what we captured from one of them and then we might as well get this last one too so we got about 66.2, 121.4, and 187.3. So that's what we recovered the three pellets off of that second one we took. Now, as far as expansion, I'll give you a couple of measurements on some different things here. Let's check out the base of this slug. That's going to be the biggest part. So we got 445 and then 469. That's on the base of that slug there. This little cone shaped pellet off of the triple defense. That is 0 0.40. And then a couple of these triple alt buck pellets here. You got 392. This one here, you got 394. And then this one here looks a little bit bigger than those others. You got 413. So that's about pretty much the size for all of the pellets out of all of these rounds. And so there you have it, y'all, a couple different 410 options out of that little Bond Arms Grizzly Bear. Um, as far as which one I would use if I were going to use this little Bond Arms with some of this 410, I would go with this Triple Defense only because it stays together a whole lot better than just plain round ball like that. I believe it's this slug right here that's helping it do that. You know, you got that, uh, like I said, you only got a half inch of rifling at the end of that little Bond Arms, but it's still got to be helping some it's probably helping to keep these balls in line just a little bit more than it would with just slinging them out through that rifle and loosely but that being said i haven't tested the 45 colt out of this bond arms in the gel yet so that may be a better option than this 410 altogether because personally i'm not very impressed by what i'm seeing out of any of this out of that bond arms as far as this 410 goes all right, y'all, I'm gonna call it right there for what I think was a pretty interesting 410 test. Unfortunately, I think the biggest takeaway from this one for me is I don't plan to use that Bond Arms with 410 under any circumstances unless I have no other choice. The performance you get in trade for that little Bond Arms being so big and clunky and bulky, uh, really heavy trigger, just not very user-friendly, it's nowhere close to worth it. Now, like I said, I haven't tested any 45 cold out of it through the gel, so it may change my tune if I test some 45 Colt. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you might be interested in seeing that. But y'all let me know what you think either way. Do any of y'all out there carry these little Bond Arms? Do you carry this Grizzly one or another model chambered in 45 Colt and 410? If you do, what do you carry in it? Do you carry 410 or do you carry 45 Colt? If you did enjoy this video, take a second and reach down and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new stuff. Take a second and check out those affiliate links in the video description if you shop through amazon hit up that storefront link down there you'll go straight through amazon like normal from there and anything you buy after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel same deal with those axle links if you're looking for some fantastic ear pro hit up those links down there and you can save a pile of money instead of going straight to their site like i always tell you i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching these videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing and leave me those comments down below again 
again, let me know what you think about what you saw here. Y'all can see the sun's trying to escape on me and it's getting cool out here again. So that's going to wrap it up. I got a lot of good stuff headed y'all's way. So be on the lookout for it. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.